So in this one, I'm just going to go ahead and add material to the roof. So let's get started. I'm going to select the roof and tab into edit mode. So I might just drag this back down slightly, actually give myself a little bit more room, maybe drag this over. So the first thing I'm going to do is just zoom in here and just make sure I'm on face selection. So control tab. So I'm going to alt select this edge right the way around here and press one. Let's come up here. I'm in front or the graphic. Actually, I want this edge here. So I'm going to alt select this one and I'm going to press S shift Z and just drag this back and line it up. So you can press and hold shift and just get that fine movement. I'm going to left click when I think that's right. I need to scale it a little bit more. So S shift Z and I'm just going to bring it back basically to where it was initially. I'm not happy with the shape of that. So back and have that straight. Okay. And that's the same right the way around there. And that's exactly what I want. So what I might do is control tab, select edge, select this edge here. I'm going to alt select the edges right the way around the top here. Alt select and shift select them. And I'm going to press control B for bevel and just bevel the top of that slightly and just give that a nice, a nice bevel left click. I'm just going to tab back to object mode very quickly and check my scale. Okay. So again, I need to apply the scale on this. So control A and apply scale. So I tab back to object mode. I can select the bottom edge on this now. And control B. Just give that a little bevel before we add material to it. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to come back to object mode. And I'm going to come over to the material tab and just remove both materials from, from this here. And I can click new. And I'm going to rename this to roof material. And press enter. And I can come down to the node editor now. Just zoom in here. It's going to delete that. I'm going to add two materials to this. The first is going to be kind of a top rubber material that comes over the top. The second will be kind of a flashing. Probably the base is going to be a metal material. So we'll do that. So the first one I'm going to do is the top material. So I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to add a PBR principal shader and a couple of other nodes. So I want to add a texture node. So shift A, I'm going to go texture, Veroni texture. Okay, to give it a little bit of a pattern. I'm going to switch this to cells. Okay, so with this selected, I can press control T and that'll just give me a mapping and a texture coordinate node. So I'm going to press shift A and I'm going to add a converter and a mat. I just want to multiply this. So I'm just going to press B, select these three nodes, press G, select this one, maybe just drag it over slightly. So I can select color and add it to the top value and just plug in this then to the displacement because that's what we want to affect. We want to affect the displacement of this material. So I'm going to zoom in, press control B and just get a border select. I'm going to press Z and rendered and I can zoom in then slightly. Okay. Something like this for the moment, maybe zoom in a little bit more. So it's this section here, the top part as we come over the top. So for the color, I'm going to darken this down a little bit and I'm going to increase the scale on this so we can get a little bit of a pattern going. So maybe 170 and you can see how that affects it. I'm going to increase the scale on this to maybe 100 in the X, Y, Z. And again, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay. And that wouldn't be too bad as a beginning material for this. I'm just going to come back and press Z, come back to solid. So with the roof selected, I'm going to add a new material slot. And what I might do is select the fence metal. We had a material on this already. I'm going to pick, click the plus and just rename this then to roof fascia. Okay. Press enter. Just going to tab into edit mode then and control tab. I need to select faces. So I'm going to select these faces here. I'm going to select this one here actually and control plus then. What I might do is just deselect the base one that will have to be a third material. Okay. So right to here is what I want for this material. With that selected, I'm going to select roof fascia, click assign. So we have that red in our viewport color. We can just maybe change that to a, maybe a light blue, something like that. Okay. So again, if I come in and zoom in a little bit, I can do a quick render. So what I'm going to do is just box select this stuff and press delete. Okay. And it's going to reduce this metalness to maybe less than 50%, maybe 0.35 and maybe just decrease the roughness a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to zoom back out there and that's a good starting point for this material. I'm just going to press Z and come back to solid. I'm going to press control alt B 
to remove that render border. Okay, I can come back here and tab back to object mode. Okay, and I think that's going to do it for this one.